Hello everyone, today I will show you a special POS software that allows you to sell your store items for free. Yes, you can use this POS module for totally free. You don't need to spend a single penny. So let's get started. To get this software, we need to log in to www.invoicepedia.com. When the website is loaded, we will see a home page like this in front of us. We can log in in many ways from here. We can log in manually by providing name, email, and password, or we can log in with our Facebook ID or our Gmail ID. Here, I am logging with our Gmail ID. See how easy it is for us to log in with just two clicks. Now we will enter our phone number in this front box. This is the dashboard of this software. Since we have logged in for the first time, we will go to settings and provide some necessary information. Ok, our setting part is done. Have a look at the dashboard. It's not only a POS software, it's a full business management software. A lot of features are available here. We can create business invoices, manage inventory, track income and expenses, get profit and loss reports, and various types of sales and purchase reports from this software. A full-fledged accounting module is account integrated with this software. But in this video, I will not show all features of this software because the length of this video will be too long. Maybe it will break our patience. Now we will click the violet color button. Our pause interface has loaded and we will start our sale from this yellow search box. In this box, we will enter the barcode of products by scanning with a scanner or simply write down the name of the product. See how easily we can add a product to the cart on the right side from this field. We can find and add product by scanning barcode or writing the name of product. Next, here it is the to select the customer. If the customer is new, we can create an account for him or her instantly by clicking on this symbol. Here we will enter the name and phone number of the customer. If he or she has a previous transaction with us and has a previous due, we will just enter the due amount here and then we will save the customer and the customer. And then we will save the customer and the customer will be auto selected here. Under the customer field, this part is for the product group or product category and this part is for products. Although this software has a different page to create products or product categories, we can create a new one in case of emergency. We will click on this button and enter the name of category and this is how and this is how we can create a new category instantly the category button will be added to the last of the section these buttons are for products we can add products to cart by clicking or touching on these buttons Every button reveals four different types of information. The information of the product can be seen at the top. The stock amount of the product is shown on the bottom left and the price of the product is shown on the right. We can also see the purchase price of the product here if you want. But for that we have to go to pause settings and change it. Later we will show you how to change the age from 
for settings. We can show images of products in the background of these buttons if we set it from post settings. But now we will create a new product from here and add to the cart. Just click on this plus button and the product entry form will appear. We will enter the product name and other information here. This is how we create a new product and see the product has been added to the car. Now look at the bottom part of the interface. On the left side, we will get three different buttons here. First one is for showing all products on the top. The next one is for bookmark products. Bookmark products are those products which sell frequently and mostly. If we put the best selling product in a separate place, it would be much easier to find and add those products to the cart. For this reason, there is a bookmarking system for the best selling products. Making a product bookmark is very easy. We have to hover the mouse cursor on the product button. On the top right side, the bookmark symbol will appear. We will just click on that symbol and the product will be set as bookmark. See, we have got our new bookmark product. Okay, now come to the third one. Before we talk about the sale button, let's take a look at the card. We see that the price and quantity of the product in the card can be changed as we wish. We can touch on the plus button to increase the quantity and the minus button to decrease. We can also delete a product from the card by clicking on the delete button. The bottom of the card has two parts. One part shows the total bill of the card and in the other part we can set discount. We can add more fields here if we want. For example, we can add VAT or GST or add shipping charge or service charge. etc. That means we can add as many fields as we The interesting thing is we don't have to add these fields every time we make a sale. Once a field is set and the sale is completed, it will be set permanently. Now let's talk about these three buttons below. The first button is kept here to cancel the sale. Clicking on this button will refresh the page and we will start the sale from the beginning. The next is for credit sale. If we need to sell in credit, we have to click this button. And the third button is for paid sale. Clicking on this button will bring up a payment box. In this box, we will be able to enter the amount of money paid by the customer. There is another important thing in this box that should not be missed. Here you see a select box called payment method. It is placed to select our payment account. By default, the cash account is selected, but if we want to select a credit card or debit card or any other account, then we have to change it from here. And if we need to add a new transaction account, then clicking on Add a new account will bring up another prompt box. We will be able to create a new transaction account in the account name field. We will give the name of the card or name of the bank account. And in the account group fill the bank account as account group. This way we can create a new account if we need and receive our payment there. We can use keyboard shortcuts to save credit sales or paid sales. For credit sales, we will press Alt plus Enter and for paid sales, we will press Ctrl plus Enter two times. Now we will complete a sale. First, we will search a product from this search box 
and add it to the cart. Then we will add the product to the cart by clicking one of the buttons below. Ok, our cart is ready. Now we will save it as a credit sale. Here is our print window. This is how our printed receipt will look like. We will complete another sale and this time the sale will be fully paid. Our sale is finished. Now we will talk about the sales button. Behind the sales button, there is a sales history report. We can preview the sales item from here. We can reprint the sales receipt from here. And we can delete the sale if we need from this button. We can collect bills from a credit sale by clicking on this button. Here the payment box is ready with all the facilities described before. We can make another discount and an extra charge and receive the payment from here. See our payment status has changed to pay. We can filter this transaction according to date from this date fields. We have completed the introduction of the whole POS interface. But without knowing about the POS settings, this video will be incomplete. Here in POS settings, we can set the price shown on the right bottom side of the product button. By default the price means sale price but we can change it to purchase price. The, ch the checkboxes next to it are placed to determine if some more information will be shown or not. This one for hiding stock amount on the product button. This one for hiding product price. This one for product name. This for product image and this for prevent receipt after sale and the last one is for prevent sale on out of stock. That means if a product is running out of stock then we can prevent the sale for the particular product. So for instance we will show product images and prevent out of sale from here. Now see. What is the effect of this change? This is the end of this video. If you think this video is useful for you, then make a like on our video and subscribe our channel and write your opinion on the comment box. If you need more videos of other features of this software please write on the comment we will make more videos if we get good response from you goodbye